Hey you right guys, Trace Punches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 11 of How To Get Away With Murder season 5. As of recording this, I think the mid-season finale of season 6 is about to wear next week. Uh, so time is of the essence now, I need to just power through these. Uh, but we are coming towards the end of this season and I'm really, really enjoying it. Obviously we found out, I think it was the end of last episode that... Uh, I'm blanking on his name, but the, the guy Nate killed uh, is, was actually kind of innocent and Bonnie kind of saw that. So, well, Bucky, <laughs> we don't know if he's completely innocent, but he didn't do what they thought he did, which was kill Nate's dad. Uh, so we'll see what the consequences of that are going to be. But yeah, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe. And all social media stuff will be linked down below in the pinned comment and description if you want to check any of it out. But for now, my friends, that's where he was busted. What if that's why he was on the payphone? Because his phone was actually dead. I'm calling to thank you for handling the Nate Leahy senior transfer. His son works for me. He's a good guy. Oh, dude. He was literally doing a good thing as well. He was just, like, saying thanks. <laughs> friends, after he went to jail for her husband's murder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was falsely accused. <gasps> the governor. We're going to take down the governor with this as well. <laughs> Uh, listen, I'm oh, the now they all They all know he's innocent. <laughs> a Good guy, so I'd like to make the transfer as easy as possible on his old man. Right. <laughs> what this means? Oh, he is innocent. Never knew about the warden's wiretap. That call was him covering his ass. He killed an innocent guy. Simple you as want that. proof? I ain't the bad guy here. He is. I don't know, Nate. Don't think so. <laughs> Pretty sure that call just proved that because he was going off that. But they've ruined Nate. <laughs> They're not ruined him, they're just... What else would I be calling about? <laughs> Asher. So, oh, bollocks. I'm not the only one who knows. <laughs> I'm not calling Nate. It's Laurel, I'll leave a message, but I'll probably never listen. Yeah, great job, Laurel. That's a good professional, professional voicemail. <laughs> What happens to infants when they see trauma? Oh, their brains here. don't develop. Oh. Right. He could have PTSD oh for the rest of his life, Bonnie. That's the only thing that's keeping me from killing her right now. Yeah, you wouldn't kill her, Laurel. Pipe down. No evidence of criminal acts or negligence by anyone involved. The judge said we're not oh, supposed to talk to ruined. you. I just have a few questions. Probably going to kill this guy as well. On the evidence. Gave the jury fake evidence. Oh my god. Texting how you keep your head in the game? My head is always in the game. Exception <laughs> just calls. True though. The Brits are on their way up. I like this guy. I like, like I said, I like that he's not perfect. He's not this perfect. Pierce Jensen, on the other hand, boss. Are you my way? I enjoy. Ah, Crawford, good to see you. Thank you for making the trip. Good day, Crawford. Hi. Who are you? Annalise Keating. Ah, who are you? You must have a drink while I'm. I love Annalise. Yo, she's this is the board approved top five TV character tomorrow's deposition with the FT. Want to avoid C and G going down and losing both your jobs? We proceed as planned. Everyone happy? Nope. None of you are parents, oh. okay? You don't get it. Look at him. He's no, so you're the worst parent of all time. The kids I've seen kids you have kids. one scene with your kid. Tell Annalise I'm taking a sick day. Wait, wait, wait. Laura thought I had him. She knows we know. So you didn't see him at the wedding? Oh, wait, did he see him at the wedding? No, I... I'm asking the questions here, Mr. Mel. Oh, shut up. I'm asking the questions. He's giving you answers willingly, so pipe down. He was just checking to see if Senior's transfer went okay. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> What if you're bad for Miller? He's dead. Like, first of all. You can't take this all on yourself. Yeah, didn't they? Of course I to take this on. It was me, Asher. You know, yeah, she did kill him. He could have survived. He was in shock. I could have called 911. He'd be fine. Why did she kill him? Like, it was me. I guess she was looking out for Nate, but. Not here, not anywhere. Cool. What's the brand? Am I the only guy who likes Gabriel? You decide onto our... I didn't mean overstep. Your middle name is overstep. His middle name is best Nate, character. Just trying to help. We'll stop. Why? Why? Is something going on with him? Well, you were at our wedding. Do you think that means we're tight? Why is I... it? Oh no! I said this in another YouTube comment, and everyone was defending the Keaton for him being a dickhead to him. Hi. I'm just like the only guy who likes him. I'm like, who just wants friends? <laughs> Maybe I just someone trying to bleed you dry. <laughs> I love these two's dynamic as well. I got proof. You got fuck all, mate. I'll be back in a bit. Because Miller messed with this test. That's not evidence, Nate. What? You are literally taking a shovel and digging your own grave. <laughs> and that's the risk I gotta take. Oh, no. Nate, you're doing you my head, Have my back. 
We can get out. Meh, 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 meh. I'll be like, okay, you're on your own, mate. Sorry, like. He's running on emotion, that's the thing. Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, she's stupid. This is Explode. I want to know who actually is the reason for this, and then making the wrong person. <laughs> Bonnie, get out the car, you idiot. The real. Was she actually going to do something dumb? Frank, legend. I'm excited to do a character tier list for how to go over his murder in uh, six months' time. <laughs> or I don't know. Maybe she actually would have done something if Frank wasn't there. I'm telling you that. Frank's such a boss, I love him. The guy who does what always looking out for the people he cares for. Which is a grand total of two people. <laughs> Bonnie and Annalise. You included I'm an adult! Okay, yeah. I chose yeah. this rock. Mother, I can tell he's different. How is he different? Okay, you know who else is different? Oh my god. Bonnie. I lost the love of my life. Yes! I will do whatever I need to do to make oh sure my, my god. son is safe. Hey, I can hear Someone you pointed this out as well, but do. love of her life, but didn't she cheat on Wes Great. with Frank? So now I'm traumatized. No, that's not what I meant. Yes, she did. So it was not the love of your life, because you cheated on what him. What good does it do to make Bonnie hate herself even more than she already As much as I shipped them in season three. Hey, Christopher, I'm the best mom in the world, aren't I? I know I only look at you in your crib once every four months, but I'm a good mom. No. Bonnie's bad. Wait, she got... I was in the same room with my birth mother when she was shot. Oh, mad. I was two. That's why social services took me and... What? We did not know that, did we? I don't think we did. I don't know. I don't think we knew that. Unless it was mentioned way back in season one and two and it's been so long that I've just forgot. Yeah, I knew they were going to kiss. I'd throw her under the boss. <laughs> it was reverse psychology or are you that ignorant? I'm about to leave. Come on, dude. Use your brain. Nice watch, though. Listen to Annalise. This is what people need to understand. Whatever Annalise says is always right. So just listen and no one does. Me. Mr. Leahy, I have some agents who'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh my God. Uh, here we go. Call up. Wait up. I assume you find <laughs> she's so misconduct. Well, she's not your type. <laughs> Do you need something? It's about. Uh, she knows. Why are you all lying? She knows. No one's somewhere. lying. I was with. You're all full of it. <laughs> I can't believe you do this to me again. Go in. Michaela Black. Huh. No, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great idea. I agree. Oh. What are you thinking? The bloody deposition's in five minutes. Bloody hell, deposition! deposition. No. Oh. You're fired, Mr. Crawford, on the very day that he's filing a hostile work environment claim against me. Ah. I submitted the paperwork this morning. Ruined. It would clear all regulatory agencies, and I trusted you. <laughs> because you have so much experience. You're all mad. You're all bloody mad. Keen loves it. Yo, are these two gonna bang? <laughs> in my head, everyone in House Get Women Word is gonna bang, because they do. At least he actually is taking some of the weight off her shoulders a bit because she's been obviously struggling with this all episode. Which I'm glad as well that they're taking the time for Bonnie to actually struggle with it instead of being like, oh, okay, cool, he said whatever. <laughs> Yo, chill out, you just knock normally. Yo, she better knock. Is Bonnie okay though? Yes. Well, I'm not. Did you know? Laurel! About Christopher, how he was there? Me! Did Bonnie not tell you? Oh my that? god! Of she didn't. Oh, he's gonna think she's done some uh, He's like preparing himself. He was preparing himself to see a body. I want to meet up if you have time. What are you gonna do? Call me. Tegan, please. Oh, the governor killed Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all so you like... understand? There was no match. Right. Which means you were right. There you go. Someone manufactured those positive results. How did they do that, though? Oh, no, they... Yeah, yeah. So now they're going to believe his story. They're not there yet. Wait, where is she? Is she under the bed, maybe? Wait, what? I just didn't want to sleep alone. Oh. Oh, look at him, dude. He was panicking. They're so cute. Well, Frank's cute. Hello? 
It's Nate. Or Simon's finally back. Oh, Quiet. Simon. <laughs> I think I need a lawyer. Mud, mud, mud. I'm hoping that's you. Of course, come on, you gotta help him out. GG's. Okay, there we go, guys. That is episode 11 of How to Get Away with Murder, season 5. I was about to say season 6, but season 5. Great episode, really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, I feel this season's stepping it up, like, not because seasons 3 and 4 were bad, because it definitely were not bad. There's not been a bad season of How to Get Away with Murder. Uh, but there's been some stories, obviously, throughout the show that I've not been too invested in here and there. And, like, even parts of this season, there were stories that I weren't invested in, like Bonnie's twin, not twin, Bonnie's sister and all that stuff, like, earlier in this season. But they've just stepped up the game with, like, the last few episodes. It's been really entertaining. Um, even though, like, I don't feel like a lot is happening, like, progression-wise with the story, it's just entertaining with all the character interactions so far, this, like, episode. Because you have the side story of Annalise and her boss in that trial, and typically I wouldn't care too much about something like that. Even earlier in this season, like with the the boss, um, I don't know the name of, but yeah, him. He didn't interest me, so I wouldn't have been invested in that story, but now because I feel like he's a good character and they've actually built on him a little bit, I am invested in his story and his kind of dynamic with Annalise as well. And I feel like it was ever since he rehired her back into the firm, which I, I don't know what episode that was exactly, but when he did that, I feel like they built on his character more, you know, gave him a bit of backstory and he's not this dick that we all thought he was going to be, at least not yet. And I hope they stay like that. I hope they didn't make him into a twat. And like I said in the reaction, I like that he's not this perfect guy, uh, but he, you know, realises his flaws and that he was this privileged white guy and all that stuff. Like, he, he realises that. Uh, so, because typically when we have, like, the boss character in this show, they're always boring, they're never entertaining, they're just very, like, meh, meh, they're always knobheads. So I feel like he's kind of, like, a nice change for that. It's kind of how I felt, like, with Tegan as well. Like, I know she's not the boss boss of the firm, but she was another one where she came into it and I was a bit like, okay, new character. But then they really built on her and she's one of the best characters of the show now, for sure. Um, Tegan, Tegan's badass, I love her. So, yeah, all that stuff was really good with Annalise uh, being part of that as well. And then Annalise being part of Nate and Bonnie's story, you know, Bonnie really struggling with the aftermath of what happened to Miller, which I think they needed to do for sure. Um, this episode was just very heavy on that. She even had a scene where she was basically going to going to kill herself. I don't know if she would have completely gone through with it, but it seemed like she was going to if Frank didn't come in. Uh, the actor who plays Frank continues to be one of the best actors in the TV, in the show, in the TV show, in the show. Uh, he always has been. A, a lot, I think since, since season three onwards, he's just been great. Uh, he doesn't overdo it. Like the bit where he's opening the shower curtain, like a lot of guys are like, no, like, <laughs> but he's just very subtle and I really like him for that. I think Charlie Webber, the actor's name, he's very good in this. I've not seen him in anything else, but he was really good in this. I really liked his kind of, even though he's had a very little amount of screen time in the episode, he was carrying um, a lot of those scenes as well. I like, didn't like, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Bonnie at the moment, but I liked the story of this episode. Nate, not the biggest fan of Nate at the moment, but I liked his story as well. It seems like they've got a plan to kind of go along with. So we'll see how that plays out and all the Keating 5 or 4 knowing about it. And Laurel. My problem with Laurel is I do understand why she would be angry at Bonnie for allowing her kid to see the, th the things that her kid saw. I do get it. Like, I, like, in a way, I agree. I do agree with it. Like, you should be annoyed like, and angry at that whole situation. But she's not thinking like how Bonnie feels because Asha was the one trying to push like... Yeah, but Bonnie just, you know, her boyfriend just got murdered, or she had to kill her own boyfriend. I don't think she had to, she chose to. And Laurel's running around like, oh, I'm the best mum in the world, oh, how could you let this happen, way, way, way. And it's like, you're not the, you're a terrible mum. Like, she's awful, and she's there like, oh, the love of my life. And someone pointed out in a YouTube comment a few weeks ago that she cheated on Wes. What is she on about the love? Laura and Wes were great, don't get me wrong, they were really good, one of my favourite ships in the show. Not my literal favourite, but they were one of the best ones. But she cheated on him. Was she on about the love of her life? I don't get it. And she's just whining and complaining, she's done nothing this season but do that. Uh, she's been the same character all of this season. She was one of my favourite characters in seasons, I'd say, one, two and three. Four, she was fine, and then this season I find her very annoying. I'm not sure if many people agree with that. I mean, I do, like I said, I do get why people might like her because I do understand why she is angry at Bonnie in this situation, but to me, she's just coming across as very annoying and frustrating. Everyone else is great, like Connor and Oliver as well, one of those where 
I think it was season four where they both annoyed me. <laughs> and I think it was like the second half of season three as well. Especially Connor, like he was really annoying me. But then you come to season five and they're great. They're really, really great. So characters do change in this show. They do definitely go up and down. It's happened with Michaela. It's happened with uh, Asher. I feel like Viola Davis is just the consistent best character. And Frank as well. I've never kind of disliked Frank. He's always been really good. I'd say they're the only two who have been consistently great. So obviously the characters are going to have up and downs and maybe Laurel can put it back, pull it back for me uh, in a future episode. But as, as of right now, I just cannot with her. But this was a really great episode. I'm kind of leaning towards an eight. I don't think story-wise it was like super great. Like I wouldn't say it was eight-wise story-wise. An eight. I wouldn't say it was an eight story-wise. That makes more sense. Uh, but just the character interactions and all that stuff really made it entertaining. I think for entertainment value, I'd say this was an eight out of ten. Uh, I think story is more like a 7.5, but I was just very entertained by it, so I'm going to go an 8 out of 10. Why not? <laughs> uh, so yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching, though. Leave a like and enjoy it. I'm very excited to see what happens with the rest of the season. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Uh, I think this might be the... If it continues like this, I'd say this is the best season since 2. Um, because seasons 1 and 2, I feel like, are unbeatable, if I'm going to be completely honest. They're just such incredible seasons, but this could be up there for sure. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time for episode 12.